Werner Schüler here at the Mobile World Congress and I'm so happy to be with Kyle Dufresne, Senior Vice President of the AI and Edge business at Dell. We have a long-standing partnership, Kyle. We do. Can you comment on that? Sure. Actually, Intel is our first and best partner. And when I think of Telco, which we've both been in for a long time, we formed our Telco business unit about four years ago because this is a very special market with very special needs. We understand the needs to get new services out, new capabilities out, reduce OpEx, and a lot of times using technology to do that. And you've been our first and best partner to be able to do that from core networks to the edge and everything that's happening in AI and through the continuum of the, the, the RAN environments that are now virtualizing. We're really excited about what's happening and, and the things we're doing together to make a special products in the marketplace and special offerings. So you talked already or you mentioned core, AI, and edge. I think those are the three big topics which we see here at MWC together. Can you comment on our joint solutions, what we have in those areas and how that benefits our partners and, and customers? Yeah, and I think it goes to, down to two things. At Dell, we make mostly products for a very broad marketplace. But we do have a telco business unit, and it's just been formed. It's very special to do that at Dell. And we did it solely so that we can make products that are optimized for this space. Intel is our first and best partner, and will continue to be that. So we've made really specialized products, but on top of that, we've taken a lot of costs out of running these things and operationalizing these environments by creating integrated stacks with partners like our NEP partners and working with Intel to make it easier to deploy services and capabilities across the core and the edge environment. Okay, you mentioned NEPs, that's the telco equipment providers. Can you give some examples of that collaboration which we have with those? A absolutely. So first, we announced this week uh, a really special relationship with Nokia, where they're moving away from a vertically integrated stack so that they can give our telco providers choice. And they're working primarily with Dell and Intel in that space as they move forward to have a much open, much more open environment. And you may have seen Michael on stage with uh, AT&T, with Chris from AT&T, talking about the incredible solution that we've put together that's very specific for their, their you know, virtual RAN environment. Again, so it's completely changing the, the way they operate these environments, they deploy these environments, and it's all built on capabilities that we did together starting three, year ago, three years ago, and the products are just deploying now. So a lot of planning, a lot of work, but it's really you know, blossoming into something pretty special. So we see that happening across the globe. Pretty exciting. Great. Yeah. Why did at and choose really that Intel Dell solution? What were the benefits they saw in that? Well, I'm, I'm not going to lie. They chose, they like cost in these environments, right? So, <laughs> but that's important because if you build a general purpose machine and you're not optimized, you can't be successful. We know the pressure that our, these operators are under to, to produce margins, produce profit. So if you're not completely focused on that, you're not going to be successful. And we did a pretty good job of, of doing that, but we automate a lot of the things at the edge. As they deploy these capabilities, they're able to deploy without smart hands. They're able to do lifecycle services on these machines without smart hands being out at those edge facilities. So it's really taking a lot of the cost out of not only the hardware, but the operational management of these environments. How do you deploy applications at the edge? How do you do all these things without having to you know, incur a lot of costs? It's really special, really important. So you, you talked about operational efficiency and automation a lot here. Uh, that obviously leads then to AI, which is then even a further uh, element of automation, or actually, where do you see AI playing a role with the telco operators, with the ecosystem there? We see many things in that space. So AI is taking over a lot of the conversations, and you know we're on this journey at Dell. Technology is helping literally thousands of customers today, and, and I've I've had probably 30 custom, 30 deep conversations about artificial intelligence. We see a lot of the providers talking to us about how can they improve their internal operations, like we're doing at Dell, but also how do they offer different services, and we see inferencing going to the far edge, and we see many of the service providers creating these cloud environments, creating capabilities that they can also offer to their customers, so we see incredible growth happening in that space with many of the telco CSPs. Uh, over the next couple of years. I think you mentioned some key usage models there as operational uh, efficiency with AI, and the other one was really inferencing at the edge. 
and obviously we see all those generative AI in the data centers. I think the key is there that not one size fits all. It really depends what kind of solution you want to deploy in the AI space and they are having really a customized solution which is tailored to the needs of the customers in the AI journey. And yeah. I think that's where we work very closely together from your edge products over the data center products, cloud products, even on the client side. But let's focus on those edge and data center AI solutions which we have jointly together. We, and we are building at the far edge, and you don't need giant yes. GPU systems at the edge. Many people are doing inferencing with CPUs or NPUs, and we're building those together, so it's going to be a very, very cost-effective way. And it's a very verticalized environment where when you're doing services, there's computer vision opportunity, there's loss prevention in retail. I can go through 30 or 40 different verticals that we're working on that we're building platforms so that we can really take advantage of these capabilities and help the telco service providers offer these services. So we're really excited about that. Awesome. AI everywhere, from the cloud to the data center, from the edge, everywhere really between Dell and Intel. Thanks a lot, Kyle. I think that was a great conversation. Thank you.